You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Weeds. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Weeds news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Weeds! Oh, what up, After Buzzers? It's your boy DJ Jesse Janity, and we are here in studio with... David Skifaletti! I wish you... I can't wait for you to um actually see... Oh, I'm actually receiving a phone call right now as we're on air. Oh, fun. Who from? Uh, let me see. Uh, hey, I'm actually uh, in the middle of a podcast right now. So why did you pick it up? <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like picking it up. So <gasps> oh my god, Hello? you can't I'm even back. handle this. All right, bye. Very professional. We're hey. very professional here hey, at Weeds. Nancy Botwin would have picked it up at the Weeds after show. Nancy Botwin would have picked it up. Nancy Botwin would have left. That was my dealer. Actually, <laughs> that was your dealer. <laughs> So I'm going to have you take the reins right now, and I'll be right back. (laughs) Oh, okay. Good luck with that. (laughs) Just kidding. All right, so welcome, guys. Welcome. How are you? How are you? Let's get into my voice. Oh, God. (laughs) All right, I'm just kidding. So big stuff, big news. Big news. Big news. Big news. We're having a competition here at AfterBuzz TV, folks. Oh, we are? Yes. I did not know about this. I'm very competitive. Oh, good. Well, I'll just have to update you on how to work iTunes so we can be competitive. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so For those of you who... Go ahead, Dave. Tell, <laughs> tell them about your... Um, who don't impotence. know me, I am very um, technologically... Handy capped, and I do not know how to work iTunes. So, if you would like to <laughs> help me out, you can call in or email us and let me know how to to work iTunes. Well, I mean, that's very generalized what you just said. I well, I in like general, I don't know how to iTunes? download music from iTunes. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's just like a helpless rabbit. I'm a mess. Caught in a bear shot. I am a mess. <laughs> um. <sighs> so how's your week been, Dave? My week's been good. Yeah? Really good. Yeah, we gotta get you out here more than just Tuesdays. It's like, even though Tuesday's like do, guy due day. I know, I'm like I don't know where I was going busy that, <laughs> body Tuesdays. Busy body Tuesdays. I got Dave here all night. We have all um, night. Weeds, which we're doing now, and then mm-hmm. after this, we're gonna watch uh, the A list, which will be streaming live at eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. Um, and and then Pretty uh, Little Liars, uh, Pretty Little Liars, streaming live at nine o'clock. And if you haven't checked that show out, you definitely gotta check it out. It's awesome. Um, Thanks. It's all me. All you. It's only because of me. <laughs> it's one little boy <laughs> and five vaginas. Oh my god! <laughs> I just wanted to slip the word vagina. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. Um, I'm sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so no, but big news. Okay, um, tell us so about we're the doing competition. competition. Top three podcasts on iTunes. Now, Weeds actually was pushed up. Was um, it? We're not in the top ten yet. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, we're getting. Thank there. you, guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. All we need you to do is go to iTunes and search. Uh, go to the iTunes store and type AfterBuzz TV and weeds and we'll pop up click us and subscribe to us it's free oh really <laughs> free david's trying to buy us and we're free <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to buy the podcast i don't know <laughs> the search for You're it like writing itunes dear itunes <laughs> it's offering it to me but i don't want it i need to pay for <laughs> I it i need to pay 99 cents for it please <laughs> um so yeah we so what happens 
what's the competition? The top three podcasts get what? Well, we haven't released that information yet. Pizza party? We're just announcing it. The competition hasn't fully started yet. So it's right now it's like, all right, guys, rev, Beginning you, stages. rev your engines up. Okay. So we need you to get out there. I, iTunes store, type After Buzz TV, Weeds. Subscribe. Real easy, real simple. You'll get all of our podcasts. Listen to the rant and raves of David and I. <laughs> the rant and raves of two crazy men. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so the top three right now are Glee Project, mm -hmm. number one. Number two is Project Runway, which just started like two weeks ago. Yeah. So come on, guys. Seriously. Um, and three is South Park. What? I can't be mad at South Park because South Park, our After Buzz TV South Park is an amazing podcast. Is it really? I didn't even know that show was still on the air. I mean, to it, tell you the it truth. really doesn't matter because these guys don't really talk about it. They just, if you like Raunch, if you like uh, Howard Stern and that type of stuff. Stop selling South Park. I'm, I'm trying. Oh, no. I'll just Hello. All right. So I'm going to sell weed. So let's sell weed. <laughs> To Guys, our listeners. First of all. If you need weed, call us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. We're your new weed hooker. The views expressed herein are those of the host only. <laughs> do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. That's true. Oh. The lovely and talented Maria Menounos. Oh, yes. Make sure you guys check out her book, The Every Girl's Guide to Life. Awesome book. Tips on... How to grow, start a business. Mm -hmm. How to grow plants and all those types of things. So very handy tools. Some, everyone needs to know. Something for everyone. In <laughs> a little something for everyone. Um, turn David from a young little girl to a, a, a grown man. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So the show. The hey, show. Welcome, guys. Seven minutes into it. Let's talk, <laughs> Let's about, talk about what we're here to talk about. So Nancy Botwin. <laughs> Is uh, chilling at her little halfway house. Come to find out, she has a softball game today. A company softball game yes, that is mandatory. Uh, well, she says it's mandatory. She has a letter from Doug. Because she I believe her. asked Doug for that letter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because she wants to sell weed there. Right. Not mandatory to sell weed at the company softball game. It Anyways, could be. It could be, <laughs> probably will be soon enough. Um, so while she's at the halfway house, her supervisor Eddie, the dark skin brother. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Okay, so well, she has like four supervisors. <laughs> she has that old man. She has what old man? The guy, with, the guy with the little goatee. He's not really old, but I'm calling him old. But the uh, the uh, the whitey. Oh my god, you are like the most racist person I know. I have black friends. <laughs> the whitey. Uh, guys, I have no idea who you're talking Tuesday. about. I don't know who I'm talking about either. So if you guys know who I'm talking about, 424-256-1729. For some reason, uh, Eddie wasn't in the picture for a little bit. and like He, uh, he guy, wasn't there for a few episodes. Right. So it was the guy and he was behind. He's usually behind the desk at the... Uh, when Nancy would come out late and she would always come right, in, when you she would like walk by him and be first like... First get into the halfway house, I'm there was a guy just, sitting not there. Not the first time. No, 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 I know. Oh, like, just like when you're I'm walking like jumping in. jumping on you like, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, when you're walking in, you where she has to check in and like sign her name and her time slot. Right. Yeah. So... I don't think he's a supervisor. She had to report to him. I think there he's just like the front desk Eddie clerk. There were other times where he was not. Okay, whatever. <laughs> he can be whatever you want him to freaking be. All right. <laughs> He's the whitey Anyways, with the goatee. Now, the other whitey woman, or I guess she'd be a Navajo. She's a Navajo. No. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry for my views and expressions. <laughs> Seriously, right? I don't know no. where you are taking this. That you <laughs> took it to a very dark place. Um, <laughs> not really. No. Not really. Not really. So I'm anyways, just kidding. Supervisor Eddie. You know, he's mad at Nancy because I c wish I could remember the Native American woman's name. And, well, he called her whatever, he something her in a turquoise. Lot of a lot of negative things towards the Native American community. Um, but basically, she's upset with him because she feels that he let Nancy slip under his fingers and she tested positive 
um, for drugs, and mm-hmm. she blames it on him. So Eddie basically has a two weeks notice. So he's like, I "Well, got- I've never heard of anybody, any job, giving you two weeks notice." Well, I look at it like, you know what I mean? Like usually like you a- give your two weeks notice <laughs> to your employer, not your employer giving you two weeks to get the hell out. Right. Um. So in that respect, I think she's being very generous with him. I do, but I also kind of think it's in the sense of he had rehab issues in his past. Right. So I think it's more like, you know, you messed up. We're going to give you a second chance. You have two weeks to prove to us. Kind of like that type of recovery mm-hmm. Okay, I situation. see that. I see that. So let's see. Yeah, so he's got his eye on Nancy now, and basically, you know, he goes to Nancy, and he's like, you know, I'm not going to let you come in here, walk around all over us. And, and Nancy does this with every situation. She acts like she owns everything. That's the best way to get out of it. it is. You know it's what I mean? Like, you take control of the situation, you show that you're in charge, and no one's going to, like, step on you. Right. It's also the best appeal for, Nan- you know, that's her char- Nancy's character. Yeah. Um, and it's why we love her. Like, let's face it. Um, also, she's doing the same thing with him as she's doing with uh, Andy, who she walks into Andy's bike company and he's discussing bike shop, bike shop, and um, he's discussing different ways of he's trying to sell his bikes to the different companies. Yeah, he's trying Not to even sell. He's trying to trade. What he called it was he wants to cross promote right. with the other local businesses. So he said like maybe. This Chinese food restaurant, your delivery men can use the Copenhagen wheel. And in return, I will hand out your menu. menus to my customers. Best way to... Uh... I mean, it's the best way to start a business that no one really knows about. Right. I think he's being very smart about it. He's got like the... As many local business owners that wanted to attend his meeting that really didn't want to talk about the Copenhagen wheel. In all honesty, I don't think... And, I mean, if you know, get the word out there. I mean, to me, if someone's offering you a free bike. I think he's just offering them the Copenhagen wheel, not a whole bicycle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did, you, did you get the impression he was giving them a whole bicycle? Oh, well, I feel like he has a bike shop. So do we think he's selling bikes and wheel, these wheels or just the I wheel? thought he was just selling the wheel. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe it's the bicycle. I don't know. They really haven't, like, touched on the shop too much. No, they haven't. It's a little confusing in that respect. Right. Um, Oh, my gosh. I'm breaking things in the (laughs) booth. Um, So, yeah. I I always think, you know, the more I'm watching this and the more I see Silas and uh, Andy getting mad at Nance. Nance. And then also within their anger, building these entrepreneur c- companies of their own. Mm-hmm. Starting their own businesses without her. <laughs> I feel like you're like my subtitle. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm explaining what you are trying to say. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> Just for today, though. Okay. I can respect that. Okay. I think they should go into business together. I what? Think, I think Andy and Silas could create some sort of business. You are delusional. Why? What business would they create? I have a- Silas wants to sell weed. Right. But, and Andy okay. wants to have a legitimate, you know, business. I think Silas only wants to sell weed. Yeah, only wants to sell only weed. Only wants, no, stop. <laughs> only wants to sell weed because it's what he knows. Yeah. Okay. You do what you know, and he knows weed. But you're telling me if Andy's Copenhagen wheel is in the Guinness World Book of Records, and he mm-hmm. says, <laughs> I'm pulling, like, I'm pulling. You are giving Andy's Copenhagen wheel so much credit. It's getting, by the way, people, just in case you didn't know, it's getting into the Guinness Book of World Records <laughs> for most energy efficient yes. bicycle attachment. Accessory. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it is. Let's pretend. Let's live, let's okay. live in I that will, world. I will join you in your crazy world. Thank you. And and 
entertain the idea that you are throwing at me. Okay. So continue. So please. the point being mm -hmm. is that Silas is really a smart kid, but he feels he isn't smart because he didn't get the chance to go to college. He didn't get the chance to do have a normal education. Mm -hmm. He's discussed this with Nancy before. Um, Ain't no time like the presence of better yourself. Ding a ling a ling, which is why you know you know he was last week he was with Hilda and. Hilda. I don't know why I just. Said Who the that. hell is Hilda? Do you mean Hela? Hela. <laughs> he was with that girl Hilda. You he was know, with no. Hilda. You know, she's the witch down the road that lives <laughs> in the gingerbread house. <laughs> that's what you think when you think Hilda. It, literally, that's what popped into my head. Okay, I don't know. I I thought of. Hey Arnold, but anyways. Hey Arnold. So, but I'm just saying, Silas is a real like we saw him working today. You know, planning out what he needed to do. He knew how to separate the weed and in, um, into different sections and say, okay, well, Nancy, you're going to take this to the softball game, and I'm going to save the rest because you're not capable of controlling it. So I see right. him, and not only that, but then he goes and talks to the model agency woman. Mm -hmm. Um. And he's just scheming and creating this plan, and he wants to create basically a pyramid. Right. Um, uh, what was it? What are these called? The pyramid scheme. Well, basically attaching yeah. a pyramid scheme to selling weed. Yes. Well, he he's he's starting like a a, a weed distribution company where he's him and Nancy would be at the top, and then they'd have all their messengers, which you know. Is works. a smart way to do it. It works, but then at the end of the day, you are wasting money on paying someone, someone else. You could do. Yeah. Agreed. Um, I just see a team of people who aren't being used correctly. Okay. You and know? then what do you envision Andy I, okay. and Silas? I haven't decided what they're going to sell, uh -huh. what kind of company they're going to open. Uh -huh. I just think... That they are going to have a business together? No, I did not say that they're going to. It, no, we're joining. No, we're all joining we're you jo on this crazy ride. Everybody out there. Are you Everyone's out world? there. We've joined you. We're on the same page. Now, tell us the business. Okay, David, don't patronize. I'm me. not. I am a little bit. I'm all sorry. right. So anyways, <laughs> let's just continue to what happened because apparently okay, fine. my world has been flushed down the freaking drain. All oh, right. Wait, I'm so sorry. Anyways, no, you <laughs> I'm not sorry. So, but anyways, Silas came back from his little uh excursion and oops like i said he's coming up with this plan he was looking really crazy at first like psycho he hadn't slept and he's really trying to push out this idea of i think he's just watched his mother for so long not only that but the milf weed that he feels he created which he did um the new hybrid of it you know He's taking ownership of it. and He's saying, very protective. Right, and he's saying, you know, if we're going to sell this, we're going to sell it right. I have the right to do and say what I want. I own half of this company, in quotations. Right. Um, and Nancy has proven time and time again she is not capable of running shit. Well, she's just unreliable. She's capable of running, but not running shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. So... Yeah, Nan he gives Nancy her bag. She goes to the softball game, and she starts selling the there at the game. I mean... I very ballsy. Nancy, but very ballsy. Very um, ballsy. And Andy made a very smart remark when was he was talking about how they started off selling weed at local... Do you remember that back, back I do. in season one? I do, I do. And they were selling weed at like her kids' games. Yep. And now she's selling weed at softball games again. And what a softball game this was. Like, everybody was there that you definitely should not be selling around. We find out everybody. The, the FCC was there mm -hmm. spying on her boss. Her boss was spying on her, and Eddie was spying on her. Um, I mean, all eyes were on Nancy, and she is trying to start a business. At the wrong time. Wrong the place. Wrong, wrong time. place. Wrong time. Um... So, yeah, Nan now, what did you think of the whole situation where Nancy, you know, she saw Eddie, she got up, she moved away from him to make it look like she was playing in the game. 
when her boss came over mm -hmm. and explained to her, you know, he was. He said that he was going to take over the company that they were playing against, not to tell anybody. And she said, oh, well, since, you know, we're saying that I'm a drug dealer. Right. <laughs> Why? Why, Nancy? And personally, I think she only said that because she's attracted to him. And she's thinking, if I can get in this guy's pants, I'll run this freaking company. Right. I'll be able to waltz in, do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Nancy knows where to plant her seeds. She's not too... I meant that in every dirty way possible <laughs> that you just thought about. <laughs> <laughs> She's not stupid. If you're going to conquer a business like Wall Street, like a Wall Street company, you start at the top. And he was clearly upset when the other drug dealer was disappeared. Right. And I thought, I, you know, she did it in a creative way in saying, like, look, you know, you're trying to get you know, screw over this company. I screwed over this kid. I'm sorry. Getting rid of the competition. I'm just trying to be on top. Yeah. And he can respect that because all he wants is for her to get on top. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. You're so dirty today. I don't know. I think it's this, bar this root beer. I was just going to name the brand. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with this saying the brand? Shh. They don't sponsor us. Oh, that's true. Um, that's true. <laughs> okay. You know. So, no. But... Also, Shane meeting up with the detective. I didn't get where this came into play. I maybe missed that I think scene. How did that, that was last week? He said to me where meet up he with said, him? "Well, he gave him his business card, and, and he, he said, said if to you, meet him down at the uh, at the station." Right. Yes, but he gave him his business card, so I'm sure Shane. I mean, it was obviously a scene that we didn't get to see as an audience, right. but I'm sure he gave him a call and he was like, "Hey, meet me here at this time." Awkwardly in a garage. In a garage. And, and he's got two hookers with him. Two hookers. Sucking on lollipops. I very mean. Very appropriate. Weed. Very suggestive. Oh, we didn't even talk. First of all, pause. Pause for the cause. What? Welcome what to we my miss? world again. Uh-huh. Take a... Enter. Um, <laughs> Step into the world of week, DJ like Jesse said, Janity. <laughs> every week we always talk about... um. We always talk about the opening. The, the opening. Mm -hmm. This was a really cool opening. It was awesome. I mean, it's really cool. Every week we see they do something different. Except last week. Ex yeah, except last week they didn't where they do did nothing. Nothing. Which I wonder what I, I w we need to figure out what the name of the title of last week was because I wonder if they did that purposely. Um, oh. But, but this week it was a boxing match mm -hmm. and every time he like punched it was like the old batman thing like pow and it said weeds the adam west batman yeah the adam west batman i liked it because it was really different the graphics were different mm -hmm. usually when they do it with weeds it, it's like on a cigarette box or it looks like something legit and this was really like cartoonish and bright and colorful it was I very like punchy it. yeah i liked it <laughs> no get it intended. get it <laughs> Crazy. See, I can be smart too. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I cannot. No. But um. <laughs> anyways, out of but it world. doesn't correlate with the name of the episode. Well, the opener. The name of the episode is actually vehement versus vigorous. What is this then that I have? Yes. Um. Higher up. The higher up gods here at AfterBuzz TV. Um, placed another name on there, which I don't know why. It was actually marked that on... Is it August 8th? It's not even August 8th. It was August 9th. It was August 8th yesterday. I know. When the show aired. When the show aired. I get it, okay. I was like, it's not even today's date on this piece of paper. Liars! He's liars! I'm trying to screw with my head. All right. Is it even episode 7? No, it's actually 23. Just kidding. It is season <laughs> 7, like, episode 7. What? Seven and seven. We're <laughs> drinking up in here. Seven and seven. All right. So he meets up with this detective with two hookers. And mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to put it lightly. To put it lightly. And basically the hookers are the detective's informants. Right. Which um, we've seen in other shows. All, they always picture detectives as having informants. Like on Dexter in the first season, his um, his sister was an informant and she was a hooker. Got to get to candy to get the candy. That um, was deep. It was. Deeper than you can really think. Probably. Touched me sentimentally. No. <laughs> um, 
So I can't with you. For whatever reason, the de- oh, for whatever reason, no, the <laughs> detective wanted a blowjob, so he went with the other room with the hooker, mm-hmm. and left Shay note with the girl with the braces, who right. offered him a cookie, which apparently a cookie is a blowjob. Where did you learn that? She said, "Do you want a cookie?" She was like, "Cause if you want a cookie, she was like, I got braces and it'll it, it gives the texture." I thought she said quickie. Well, maybe, but. You her, heard cookie? Her accent said cookie. <laughs> New York accent. You want a cookie? Her South Bronx <laughs> you accent. Want you want a cookie? <laughs> because with braces, it gives it extra. <laughs> what if he was like, yeah, sure. What can I have? Oatmeal, chocolate chip? <laughs> <laughs> like, honey, it's an Oreo. <laughs> Ew. You are you so gross. <laughs> anyway. I just picture that in my head. <laughs> Did you taste it in your mouth? Oh my god, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> All right, guys, please help me. Please. Oh my god. Guys, call and give us a call at 424-256-1729. Let us know your thoughts of the episode tonight. Please bring some sanity to us right now. Some sanity to us? You're the crazy one. <laughs> David, it only happens when you're here in studio. Listen to any of my other podcasts. Never. <laughs> I don't know how Never to. do I act upon... Hang on. <laughs> so if you don't want to call in and talk about the show, at least call in and talk, give David some damn iTunes <laughs> lessons or something. Um. All right. So basically, basically, what happened after basically. that... Basically. Let's, uh, where were we? We were talking about Nancy. Right? The hookers. We were talking about the we're hookers. We were talking about the hookers. Okay, Damn it. Just finish that. All right, so here we are with the hookers. She offers it. He says. She no, offers him a cookie. a cookie. He says, no thanks. Right, but then he says, you know, well, why are you doing this? And explains how he's making money through student loans. Mm-hmm, student loan scams. And asks, you know, are you of any different race? Are you from? International. Yeah, an international superstar. She said, well, <laughs> my, my father's from Trinidad. I think her mother was from Trinidad. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, like, really, David? I'm splitting hairs. You're pulling my tooth? I am pulling your tooth. <laughs> Girls, it's just, I'm pulling on your teeth. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, she says, the detective comes out. She lets him know, like, I'm not sucking dick no more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> In so many words. <laughs> I'm not sucking dick no more. I'm going to college. <laughs> yep. Which was a proud moment. Like I know, good for him. He convinced a hooker to quit oh, hooking. And, and go to school. And go to school. Could have convinced her to... See, there's never, to, there's never a better time than the present. Very true. And Silas could do the same thing. And he is choosing to sell weed. He's complaining right. about how Nancy never helped him out this, Nancy never helped him out with that, blah, blah, blah. Cry me a river. If you want to go to college, get your shit together and go to school. Just like your brother. Just like your baby brother. Interesting because I wonder if okay. I wonder if Silas is going to end up like Nancy. Probably. And Shane is going to be the actual one that accomplishes something with his life. Does something. Because I mean, I guess the, we'll. The detective was really impressed at how he knows how to scam the system. Right, and they did talk about how. What were they calling it? A gray. In the, uh, being in the gray. Being in the gray. I mean, it is sort of genius. What. Shane, Shane, who is he? Shane. Is it Shane? Mm-hmm. Um, so many S's. There are so many. There's only two. I'm just pulling teeth. <laughs> <It's> the, <laughs> Call me dentist not Jesse. The saying. It's my saying. It's your saying. It Welcome no to sense. my world. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, Flashing all right. Lights. So back to let's talk about Silas. Okay. Speaking of do it, the hot, do it. Speaking of the hot messery. So he finds this, he goes to the modeling agent woman and he meets her at like an underground (laughs) boxing ring, which is like supposed to let the male models who aren't in business anymore feel like they're masculine. Or I think it's the male models who aren't working. I think they're still in the business, but they're just not working. That's what she tells them. Um, Uh, Oh, but she's really selling them for this. Sad. I know. Right. I kind of like her. I do too. I, I I think she's a a winner. She's a winner in my book, and in I think she's book. gonna I think she's gonna stay in this season, and I think she's actually gonna help Silas out. I think they're gonna end up dating at the long term. In the long run, um, that could be fun. 
I can't wait to get to predictions because that's where she'll come into play for what I think is going to happen. Okay. Um, I'm excited to hear this. Write it down so you don't forget. I won't forget it because I was, I've was i been thinking I've been thinking You've been it. thinking it. I've been thinking Okay, it. when we get there and you forget. Just I'm remind me of Michelle Trachenberg. Okay. End of story. So, Silas gets in the ring. You know, he's uh, basically... Well... Yeah. Go ahead. No, you tell. It out. Okay. Well, he tells her that he's starting a business and he needs messengers, pretty messengers, and that he would like some references. And she says, they cut some corners and she figures out that he's been trying to sell to her clients weed. <laughs> I'm not really good at explaining this stuff, but I'll get it out. I'll get it all out eventually. I mean, yeah. And no one has anywhere to go. No one's going anywhere. I mean, they might be. We just dropped 30 viewers. No. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, so what happened after that was. Anyways, um, she strikes a deal with him and says that if you want my clients, she can get like get in the ring clients in, within the next hour. Yes. Beforehand. Get in the ring and box. So and then he does. He does. And he is apparently really good at boxing. Clearly. Or the guy was just really bad. With well, I think that all the all the boxing masters are like supposed to be fake because the guy kept saying, this isn't real. Right. Well, you don't play. Because, I mean, think about it. This boy has been... On the run for how long? He has so much anger built up inside him. Right. And clearly he let that anger And he is a loose away. cannon. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, he was sitting there and he, he the first punch he threw, like, almost knocked the guy out. Right. She pulls him aside and says, don't, I don't, I need you to lose this battle. I need you to let him win. I have a lot of money on him. If you want these clients, boop, boop. Loose. Boop, 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 boop. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she turned so into so Charlie Brown's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so Silas was like, okay, fine, whatever, I'll do it. I need this money. Now, Glitter Boy, Glitter Band Boy. Glitter Head Band. Starts talking trash and basically starts heating Silas up. And Silas went in for the kill. Mm. I mean, like, he was a robo. To say the least. Yeah. He went in on this motherfucker. He went ham, as Jay-Z and Kanye West would say. He went what? He went ham. Hard as a motherfucker. H -A -M. Ham? Ham. Pig. Oink, oink. I mean, I, I understood. All right. But that is weird. He went ham. I'm going to start saying that um, everywhere I go. So, yeah, basically, by the way. she's, like, turned on by it. Um, she said it was orgasmic watching you fight like that. Don't worry about it. We're going to keep you around. So Silas has this new gig with her. Shane interns for the detective. Well, if you noticed, now he has to pay the messengers. He tells the agent that he's also going to give her 10% of the head start and he cut her with Nancy too. Cut her a profit and he has to split it with Nancy. I mean his overhead at this point, you know what I mean? He might as well just do it himself. Right. And make more money than having to pay well, I think 15 th plus messengers. Right, but I think he's thinking like kingpin status. He's delusional. I don't know. I don't know. Um, How funny was Doug Guess on we'll steroids? See. It was amazing. It, it was incredible. It was <laughs> so good. Um, congratulations to you because that was one of the best weeds moment that I've seen in a while. Him attacking the Comedy trash can. Guys. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, I was. We kind of saw it starting to happen on the field. He was getting mad. Um, but yeah, as he's walking, his red rage. Uh, what was his part? Uh, partner's name who calls him the Rocket, Dougie the Rocket. I don't know. One of the guys he works with started calling him Dougie the Rocket. And well, that was his nickname in college. Yeah, and Doug doesn't like that anymore. Doug does, Doug does not like it. Steroid Doug does not enjoy this. No, he, I mean, he's beating on a trash can. Because the trash can was in his way. And it was too metal. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes no sense. He's screaming stupid trash can made of metal. You're too metal. Um, I mean. You know, so he lets him know, like, hey, I don't want to be called Dougie anymore. My name it's is Doug, Doug Wilson. Wilson. 
as Eddie, the supervisor, walks around, says, Hey, so you're Doug Wilson. I need to talk to you about uh, Nancy. Steroid Doug turns around and says, Oh, are you still selling weed with uh, Nancy? With Conrad? And then Conrad. No, he said and U-turn. Oh, U-turn. Yeah, do you remember U-turn? I do remember U-turn. Um, what did he call him, though? I can't remember. It was the name of U-turn's partner, who I believe was killed anyways, or shot. Could be totally wrong with that, but... Um, I think you're correct. So, Eddie, like, gets really excited. He goes to chase and find Nancy. Excited? He gets angry. Well... I mean, I get it. Excited, too. Right. So, as he goes to find Nancy, Nancy spots these two guys who have been sitting at the game and, like, taking pictures, recording on cell phones. Mm -hmm. And Nancy feels like they're following her. She's... Because she's paranoid. Reason reasonable. Reasonable. Reasonably. So Nancy goes up to him and basically says, hey, are you guys from the FBI? You know, CIA, CIA, DEA. What's going on? He said, no, we're from the FCC. And basically, they know something's going on in the accounting um, offices mm -hmm. at, you know, Doug's job. At vehement. Vehement. Um, and basically, they want to figure out what it is that's going on. They they think there's some sort of fraud happening, which we already know is happening. Which we know is happening. Uh, Doug and his boss were talking about it while getting hand jobs from the naked stripper last hand week. Hand skis. Hand skis. Um, Nancy gets excited. They basically offer her an escape out of the halfway house. Yeah, well, they strike a deal with her for information. They will get her out of the halfway house. Um, so at that exact point, Eddie comes and, aha, I got you, Nancy. And the FCC pulls him aside and says, leave this girl alone. She's under, She's under our care now. Um, so Nancy says, wow, this day is getting so much better. What did you think? Where do you think? Well, I guess that's more predictions. Yeah. So, yeah. so before we l just remember that, we're going to definitely talk about that in predictions. Um, the last scene we see is... Nancy goes to visit her military friend who she sold the grenades to. Which we haven't seen in, I want to say, like two or three episodes. Yeah. Um, she goes in, she's being all sexual with him, gets on his lap. Being all sexy, kissing him on him. She's so excited, and you can tell he has this little withdrawal from him. His yeah, I mean, he didn't kiss her back. No. Um, he turns her head, and Soya is there. Soya is her lesbian lover from jail, who was pissed to see her. To Nancy, say the least. Nancy sold their life savings. Hello, lover. Hello. Hello, lover. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was the basic, basically the episode. Um, any last thoughts before we head over to a commercial break? I feel like we missed something. I, to me, this was a filler episode. I think next week's going to be amazing. We've gotten a lot of uh, amazing episodes. There's definitely two men kissing on the TV screen in studio right now. No, there um, isn't. You just missed it. Right there. There it is. Um, we're watching The Big C, which came out. There right it is. The <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, to me, this was a filler episode. You know, there's a lot of things. I really enjoyed this episode, I but it. I do get that it, it was a lot of exposition and there wasn't actually a lot happening. They're st for me, they're starting to head into the things... The I meat. Love. Well, no, but the feel of this season is m reminding me why I fell in love with weeds. Mm -hmm. The softball game, like, just the way everybody's back in the States, and I don't know, it's just different. She's not running from anyone, right? any big bad guy right now. It reminds me of first season. Mm-hmm. Their business is just starting. Yeah. Um... So I'm starting to fall in love with it again. I wish I've never been out of love with it, but I just, it, I don't know. It's, it's just, just re-reminding you why you were in love with it. Right, and this, that's what I think this episode did for me. Um, but other than that, definitely a filler episode. Uh, All right, I'll give you Not that. even a filler. They're setting us up. Yeah. It's a setup episode. Next week, I mean, even you, after you saw the previews, you're like, oh, can't wait. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, so we're going to head over to a commercial break. When we okay. get back, we'll... Uh, Real quick news and gossip in uh, our predictions for next week. 
Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This yes. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. She's television and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's and Shakespearean. You never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why After Buzz TV is the number one source for after show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy... Ducky is a villain. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. Four, two, four, two, I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! The wig no, will come no. out that wig. When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. Alrighty, so real quick, let's hop into a uh, little news bumper. After Buzz TV News. So there's been speculation that uh, this will be the last season of Weeds. Well, Showtime producer says that he wants to see where this season's going. And he's keeping an open mind to renewing it for next season. He said he hasn't done it yet. Which is interesting because I haven't heard anything about them saying that this was the final season. Right. Not yet, then. Right. See, that's what I'm telling you. Remember last week when you said you saw them filming? Mm Mm-hmm. They were reshooting something. All right, well, let's hop into predictions because I want to know, what do you think they're filming? (laughs) I want to know. I want to know. Really? Yeah. So they're refilming something, reshooting. Do you think they're reshooting something because they thought this was going to be the last season? Do you think they were refilming something because this is the last season? I think they're reshooting something if they want it and if they need it to be the last season. So you, th- you I think I think they filmed they they definitely finished filming the whole season and I think they filmed it with the idea that it was going to be renewed. For next, for season eight. And I think they filmed a separate finale episode just in case they decide to end it. Or maybe they filmed. I feel like, I mean, with this type of. An episode to continue it. I mean, I must have missed out on the fact that they were talking about this is the last season. Mm Because usually they promote that it's the last season. Well, yeah, I mean, they would always want to let their fans know that it's ending. Right. Well. But, I mean, we're we're only on episode seven. To me, I feel like they've boosted Weeds Up for me again. I know, it's a really good season. Yeah, and I just, I can see them taking it so many places. Like, Shane's going to be a detective. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're just... Going all over the place with it. I want. I think we can get one more season out of it and leave. After one more season, we can leave it at a high place. Or would having another season just ruin it? No, because I don't think it's done. I don't think it's done. I. I but it could be. This could, could be, be the final season. It could be. But I feel like we'll have a United States of Terror moment if they. I end. know, right? They'll that have was... to tie everything up too quickly. Hmm. And I think we've followed Nancy so long, she deserves a redemption. Yeah, I'll give you that. And I think that's what the final season should focus on. And I think the final season should be more comedy, keep it light, um, and more about family. I would like that, personally. And it wouldn't be weeds, though. Well, it's, I mean, look at where Silas is going. And Nancy's never yeah. going to stop. All right, so let's look, talk about previews. Uh, little Na- the native supervisor, mm-hmm. you know, she said you're always going to be in this a, a part of the system. You're never going to stop. You're always going to keep on. Right, because she's spying on her boss. We saw her going on a date with the CEO of the company, and they put a wiretap on her. Right. I mean, they made it look like those two things are correlated with each other? Well, I mean, I'm sure they are. And yeah. I mean, we look at the sense of 
You just told this guy that you're a drug dealer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which actually could work out better for her because now that she's told him that, he feels like he can trust her more. Right. But she can get herself into a lot of trouble. Oh, I mean, that's she wouldn't be Nancy. That's that her she, MO, I know. If she didn't. Um, what else do we see? We saw... Michelle, Mich Michelle, Michelle, Michelle Trachenberg. Michelle Trachenberg is back next week. Well, is back. Is back she's from Buffy. Finally appearing. <laughs> she's finally appearing from um, Buffy, from Harriet the Spy, from Gossip Girl. Oh, I loved Harriet the Spy. Who's on Gossip Girl? No one cares about that show. <laughs> I love that show. Okay. Not gonna lie, I got sucked into it this past season. It's good. Not as good as Harriet the Spy and not as good as Buffy the Vampire. No. Spy. No. Definitely nice. nothing's good as Buffy the Vampire. So I, I gotta okay. say, Michelle, you got a nice little resume. Great resume. Ice Princess. Okay, well, I forgot about that one. So let's just X that one out. You had a really <laughs> nice resume. There are some good actors in that movie. Mm -hmm. um, just because you're on Sex in the City does not mean you're a good actor. <laughs> Kim Cattrall. I love you. Mm hmm. So, anyways, Michelle's, ba uh, Michelle's, Michelle's oh, back. Michelle's back. I'm sorry. Michelle Trachenberg is finally making her guest Thank appearance. You. you are welcome. Um, Starting next week. Yes. Now, her character is... Well, it's funny because she's going to be working with the guy that Nancy... That that guy that she was with is the drug dealer that Nancy outed. Denny. We Denny. found out his name this week. Denny. Um, well, we knew his name. Doug had introduced... That's right. We were reminded of his name. This week. Danny. Um, <laughs> so Michelle's going to be working with him, and basically she's looking at it as competition. Well, he's looking at it as competition. I think that is his girlfriend. Okay, so here's my prediction. Mm -hmm, tell me. I feel like, well, because Michelle is going to be Nancy's rival in this. Oh, right. Okay. So, okay. I feel like Michelle's going to go into this situation teaming with Danny. Danny. And Denny. And rivaling Silas. Mm-hmm. But Silas has this ladies' man appeal. Yes, he does. <laughs> ladies' man appeal. That makes no sense. <laughs> well, he's a ladies' man. And okay. He has this appeal to him. Okay. Welcome to my world. I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying your world. All right, David. Oh, um, <laughs> I feel like she's going to be attracted to him and then team up with him and, and try to pull Silas away from everything, which is the kind of girlfriend story, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you don't need your family. You don't need this. You don't. It's that. We, You've all, I mean, well, I don't know if you have, but you ever been in a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. where you don't know me? They try to pull you away from your friends. They want all your time. I think that that situation is going to happen with Silas, and I think he's going to go for it because he wants to feel love. He wants to feel a connection with somebody, and I think she's going to offer that to him. I think it's going to be negative. And I think the modeling agent woman, if they want to keep her around, will be jealous. And I think she's a bigger, I like to say, kingpin in the industry. The modeling agent? Yeah. I think, like I said, I think she's a balls-to-the-wall type girl. Yeah. And I th think she's... I think she's going to want a piece. Yeah. And I think she's going to get a piece. And I hope she sticks around, and I hope she... Ends up pulling Silas away from Michelle Trachenberg. I know. I think we're going to get a little... A, a love triangle. A little love triangle. I'm down for it. I'm down for it. I mean, it's long overdue. What do you think's going to go on with the uh, FCC and um, Nancy Spine? Well, I think they're going to help her get out of the halfway house. They're going to find a way, like a loophole or something like that. And well, get her out of the out of the halfway house for sure. And then they're going to set her up to spy on her bosses and get the information that they want, but I think she's going to I, tamper with it. Yeah, I think she's going to play with both sides of the field. Yeah, at least for a little while. Mm -hmm. 
um, and weigh her options. Right. And within that, because we don't have... Yes. We don't have uh, a villain this season. There's no... Not yet. Not yet. And so I'm trying to think. Michelle Trashberg to me, isn't a big... She can't play a big enough villain. She could. She did it on Gossip Girl. Yeah, but to affect, like, <laughs> Wall Street and the F- 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 FCC, like, that's a... She would really, like, have to, like, go hard. Who, Nancy or Michelle? Michelle. No, I think Michelle's gonna be Nancy's villain. Like, to the ex- extent of, like, Esteban and her... No, them, no. I think that it's gonna be this boss who owns the company and the FCC, mm-hmm. and she's gonna be back again playing with legal drama. Mm-hmm. I just don't know how the table's going to turn in for that situation. We'll see. I mean, Nancy's screwed up what? in more ways than one, and she's always falling in love with the wrong guy. Uh, I don't think she's falling in love with him. I think she's... She might. I think she's realizing the type of character he is and realizing what type of a piece he can be used in her little chess game ch- game of chess that she's playing. Um, but I don't think she's falling in love with him. We'll see. We'll we see. We will see. So, I mean... And then we've got... What's her face? Sonia. What's her oh, name? Olga? Totally forgot. Soya. Soya. I think... So you want to dance? Olga is the actress's name. Oh. So, what do you... Th- Soya, what do you think that is going to happen <laughs> Soya. What do you think is going to happen with that? I don't know. Me either. I don't know how big. Maybe that's gonna be the villain of the season. Soya. Maybe we don't know how big Soya, deep Soya is. I mean, in we the saw Russian her mafia. once for like f- a minute, and she clearly has lots of access to weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's playing with some big cojones. Some big guns. Um. And yeah, we'll just. I hope Nancy doesn't start playing lesbian again. And she's <laughs> wrong just, with you hating lesbian Nancy? No, I'm not hating. I just don't want her to like be having these like flirting with everybody just to stay out of these situations. Well, she's using her feminine wiles. Oh, brother, her feminine wiles get her into so much trouble. <laughs> she's doing what she does, okay? I suppose. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Thank you guys for listening. Also, make sure you guys Thank check you. us out on iTunes. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, you go to iTunes, the iTunes store, search AfterBuzz TV, Weeds, and then subscribe, subscribe to us. It's free. You can listen to us and all our buffoonery. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Um, all right, David, it's been a pleasure. It has. Check us out at 8 o'clock for the A-List and then 9 o'clock for Pretty Little Liars. We'll be streaming live here at Ustream.tv backslash TV. And until next week, peace out. Bye. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzzTV. Buzz Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzzTV or its owners or principals. Ugh. I get so tired during that.